In this Camtasia tutorial, I'll show you how to zoom in or zoom out of video or media in Camtasia. Now, I'll show you some best practices that you may need to follow because sometimes you may zoom and you find out that things are not going the way you expected. Now, for example, I have uh, here uh, a tutorial video and these two clips are for the tutorial. The third clip on the right, uh, far right, is just a normal video. Now, for tutorial video, let's assume you want to zoom in uh, for example i know there's an action going on here uh, right about here so if you want to zoom in to when i select file then you'll need to know two things for example if i decide to go to animations and that is where you get the first option to do other zooms uh, you can decide to zoom in to this top section a good way to do that is just to hold this particular end and you'll notice your mouse I uh, will become a diagonal cursor of sorts and if you do this hold that you'll see the yellow line appear if i zoom in you'll notice two things and i'll stop there an animation is added here and another animation is added at the bottom one thing you need to note is that i don't want the animation at the top because uh, my headshot is gone so you may need to delete this click on it and press on delete and uh, i get back to full size but to avoid that, you may need to lock this when you're actually doing that particular animation on screen. So uh, uh, so that uh, when you look at your result, it looks something like this. And I'll actually just disable this track. Go something like that. Now, something else I, I believe is that if you're working with clips and you want to make your animations and whatnot, Ensure that you make your zooms and pans when you're beginning uh, your uh, production or before you start making any edits. And the reason for this is because when you make a zoom uh, without, uh, for example, without making an edit, and I can actually undo this, delete this, and I can delete that, and let's say I make a cut somewhere here, and let's say I wanted to start the zoom somewhere here. If I do that, uh, just see what happens. Uh, you'll see that. Uh, let's play this. Uh, let's actually begin it from this particular section. There we have our zoom happen. And then right about there, we go back to what we had before. So you need to make your zooms or add your zooms and zoom, uh, zoom ins and zoom outs before you make any edits. That's what I found to work best. Let's do control Z. Uh, to undo that and then let's re-enable this and uh, re undo that so if you if i wanted to actually zoom in this particular section uh, i can just uh, put my mouse somewhere there lock this and then just uh, zoom in that looks good uh, we can see what I this looks like it. i can just disable this to undo the audio we go there and then preferences and then you may want to zoom a little bit more or actually do a pan so to do a pan uh, you just uh, select this and just move it where you want it to be so a new animation is added at the bottom right here so you'll see how it looks like it looks something like this there's the zoom in you'll see what's going on preferences and then the pan that might be uh, might have been a little bit too fast so I can just adjust this and then adjust this slightly so that it, uh, it eases in slightly. There we go, looks good. And you can actually do some right click, enable easing, uh, exponential in and out, linear, spring, bounce, auto, etc. So uh, that is more or less like uh, the first section uh, to actually zoom out because you cannot be in the same uh, uh, position uh, throughout, uh, you may need to actually now use different options. Uh, let's just re-enable my track. And I'll, I'll, I'll just leave this track as locked because if, you actually, if I actually do something like a scale to feet, because this sets everything back to the original section, scale to feet, it's actually going to affect the media. And we have this clip goes up because this clip has gone back to the original position and dimensions that it was set in so we'll need to delete this so always remember whatever zooms and zoom outs uh, you make 
will affect the media uh, on that particular timeline playhead position if the track is not locked. So that is something that you need to uh, keep in mind. Something else you can do, you can use the animations option uh, where you can actually just drag and drop uh, like for example uh, the animations here, this is a custom one and you can actually do something like a scale. Uh, if you just do that, I don't think there's anything happening uh, to this particular clip. Uh, let's see. Uh, sorry, actually there's something happening. Uh, this particular mouse is actually becoming bigger. So we may need to set it back to 100 and then select media and then let us say we scale this. That's more or less of another zoom that, that you can do. Uh, I don't think I'd really recommend this, especially for tutorials. And then to restore, you can just drag and drop this animation right there and, it, and you'll get back uh, your media. So we enable this. proxy. And if you check, uh, let's just disable that slightly. Uh, you'll see that. And then to re-enable it just by using the restore uh, animation right there. Looks good, uh, works. Uh, uh, maybe uh, the scenario I'd use it is maybe with a video. For example, in this video, let's say I'd like to do a, a scale and then I'll just drag in a custom uh, animation somewhere there and then just do my scale to just do a quick zoom into that particular section and we'll see how it looks like. There we go. It looks good. And then you can just come up to there and then just drag this restore uh, option here. Let's just uh, zoom in slightly, just drag it somewhere there. Then if we play, there we go. Then you can do uh, uh, sound effects, there we go. Looks really good when you use it on video of this uh, nature. But as for uh, the zooming in and zooming out for tutorial videos, I'd prefer to go with the custom options where you can actually use uh, this particular canvas on this side to make the zoom in and zoom out. Uh, to scale in, to scale out, and if you wanted to punch in, if you actually wanted to zoom in uh, with uh, maintaining the dimensions, you can use this auto slider, and this one just zooms in uh, in this way where, uh, that you can see here. Um, looks very good. If you want uh, to scale to fit, remember to uh, click on this scale to fit, but always remember what you do, where the playhead is, the tracks above will be affected. So we can just uh, delete this. Uh, but one thing you'll notice is that this particular uh, uh, media is not 100%. So you will always need to ensure that everything is set to 100%. Uh, maybe something moved or something of that sort uh, because that's the 100% that we have. And we can actually uh, delete this so that we have uh, everything in order. But basically, those are some of the best practices when you're doing zoom in and zoom outs. Uh, the different options you can use. Uh, you can use the zoom and pan option and I've walked you through the zooms. Uh, there we go. And then we have the pan uh, for the different option. And then uh, with this video, uh, we've used the animations, uh, the custom animations uh, to scale this video more or less like zoom in and punch into that particular video. And then the quick restore uh, option here to zoom out of that particular uh, video and uh, they really work well. Uh, so make sure you try them out, test them out and see how your video will look like eventually. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.